All right, greetings. All right, James, thank you for joining us for tonight's uh, uh, chat room portion of the webinar. Yeah, I'm trying to keep YouTube keep YouTube happy. <laughs> Uh, jeez, you gotta love it. So, all right, thank you. Those are post your questions. All right, uh, Carol, are there any messages for me? Uh, yes, yeah, Yeshua Energy, and uh, there's a lot of DNA healing that you're doing at this time. If like your astral is getting stronger, uh, but that's like you're leaving your body a lot. In the astral realm, so like you're doing a lot more work in the astral, especially your family energy. Are any messages uh, for me from my galactic family? Uh, there's a Palladian energy of renewing your energy energies. You're uh, a teacher as a Palladian being. Uh, yeah, there's like students, a lot of them are kids. Uh, they want any messages for me? Uh, it's like you're doing a lot of uh, releasing, a like of father energy and releasing, also bringing energy of abundance. Of course, abundance has different definitions. Uh, but it's like, a, yeah, bringing different abundance, but also like there's a, a nature element that you're bringing in for your own healing, mostly for protection. Um, I don't know why I see blueberries. I'm not sure if that's a favorite food or something like that question two i live on the sixth floor but i saw a woman walk across the patio that was a ghost energy no it was like a ghost being that seemed very real at least that's the feeling i'm getting from that well that shows your, your third eye is open quite a bit And the super cats are uh, on the prowl tonight. <laughs> if you hear anything in the background, it's the cats are going crazy. Uh, Rachel, since December is around the corner, what advice can the Akashic Records give me with the focus on my attention? Uh, Jerusalem, Israel. Yeah, you have a connection there from your past. Lately, I've been confused with days and struggling to speak complete sentences, but I have been doing astral. You're definitely not having a stroke. No, you just, I feel like you're just getting tired of the human language. I figure, yeah, you're just going into more of the higher realm, so you just don't need, yeah, it's like you kind of get bored with, with the reality, you know, with language itself, so. You can do a clearing of yourself. You can put your intentions to clear this. I figure you're testing things out, though. Uh, Anna, any messages from Spirit Guides at this time? Uh, just self-forgiveness is happening. Uh, you are doing self-forgiveness. But, I mean, you know, you're not too hard on yourself. But just clearing out your energy so you can, you know, live another day stronger. So... I feel like you do energy cleansings uh, daily, actually. Might not be fully aware of it, but you are. Any messages from my deceased father? Um, he shows, like, checkers. He shows he's playing a game with you to help you know more about yourself. He does show you have been a hawk being in your past. He feels like it taunted you a lot. He feel like he kind of, like, got on your nerves. A lot of times, as a blue jay or something, yeah, it feels like you're, yeah, you had a lot of power actually as a bird being in your past. You know, yeah, yeah, well, take it for you know, in a good way though. Yeah, it just feels like you're very headstrong. Like I said, don't don't take that in a negative way. <laughs> uh, got any, any messages from uh, higher self? Uh, just golden beings that are around you at this time. I feel like there's uh, a mother clearing that you're doing at this time. 
Only the only because she's going through old age and just going through some stuff. So you're just doing you're at you're contributing to her healing path, helping her spirit guides. Any messages from main guide? Yeah, just focus on what you want. Uh, so that, yeah, you are still releasing a lot of your android lifetimes. Uh, to bring more of the human. That's why you came here as a human to kind of speed up your process of being a human. You know, the emotions and everything. Uh, Jane, I had recently lost two of my favorite hats. One brown western style. The other whimsical felt green. Uh, is there any information? Yeah, I feel like the fairies take, took them. But here, yeah, ask the fairies, ask whoever it took them to bring it back. I don't know if they're going to bring it back, though. I think they did that to get your attention. So. Uh, are there any messages for me going, going to the end of this year? Uh, I did feel like a, he's probably crossed over your father energy. I feel like he's still. I feel like he's still trying to heal himself. I don't know if he's here or not. Physically, I feel like he's still healing, even if he is in the spirit realm. Uh, you can just put your energy. You don't have to put a whole lot into it. Just, I feel like yeah, he had his own self doubts, insecurities, and you're at a level where you can just put your intention to heal. Like I say, you don't have to put a whole lot. But I feel like he's sometimes draining your energy sometimes. Yeah, there's like a lot of insecurity around him. I don't know if any of that makes any sense, but that's what I'm feeling around him. He was, he was afraid of the future a lot. And he still has that part of him still, you know, it's not all of him, it's a part of him. Like you you can heal that human side of him. Even if you're in spirit, you still have, you know, difficulties. It's a fractal side if you can. Um, yeah. I, I, when I am in the fairy realm, realm, who am I closest to? What was the name of relationships? Uh, well, you are in a relate. I mean, I, I believe you are in a relationship currently. So I believe you're with your partner. Currently. And that partner partner is the elf being. So yeah, you have similar way. And uh, I just see like a like an ant. One of your ants. It's not clear which ant, but an ant that might come to mind. That's there in Agartha also, but she's kind of sneaky, but it's okay. Well, she puts plays practical jokes on people. She's a lot different there than she is here. You might have an idea of who that is. I don't know. Any messages for me from uh, uh, Fairy uh, Collective? Um, yeah, you're doing a lot of self forgiveness. They are helping you become human. Obviously, you've been here for a while, but. You know, obviously, your, your memories of the fairy realms is very attractive, and more of your heart, your higher uh, aspects of you are a lot happier there. But they're helping you um, manifest here in this dimension. So obviously, one thing's happen a little bit quicker, but they are assisting on several different levels. They know you're struggling here, but. That's what, just keep calling them in. Just keep calling. Sometimes I might want to help you sleep or rest so you can hear, heal some of your stress. Uh, Gerald, a bit of auto questions if you don't understand it. Uh, what is the question though? Oh, I thought uh, my wife, I felt a connection to fictional character that when I was younger I felt deep connection to the show Gravity Falls don't know if you ever heard of it yeah I, 
have to look it up again, but yeah. Uh, but looking back, it reveal a lot of uh, things, so special, uh, yeah, especially uh, strongest uh, for a character named Bill. Oh, interesting. Who was like a who was like a demon that looked like a Illuminati eye, but more cartoonish, a you know, more vibrant yellow with different eyes, skinny black arms and legs, and had a bow tie. Just wondering if there is a sort of connection at all. Randomly, in my life, I've been. Interesting again. No, yeah, no, you're completely right. Let me out look at this up. I just need to remember again. They say Bill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all coming back to me. No, you've, uh, now, Bill, now, have you been Bill in a past life? I don't know if you've been Bill, but he definitely had connections to Bill. But yeah, Gravity Falls, you've definitely been similar to these uh, kids. Or situation, like, you, I think like you come from a realm where, yeah, this is a, a version of Earth. Now... You know, like Bill was probably called a different name, but no, it's this is good. Just yeah, just if it makes you feel good, watch it, absorb it, and let your interpretation come true. You know, come through. But Bill, I feel like Bill was kind of like a myth. I mean, there's different ways of looking at it. like these people are real. All the beings that they're connected to are all fourth dimensional. And they can kind of connect to like how we connect to aliens. Like you can connect to them, but you can't always see them. Uh, but Bill seems to be a strong connection. Um, second. I don't know. It feels like Bill is this kind of. Yeah, he's a demon. So yeah, he's I think he kinda haunted you a little bit. Yeah. But no, but this is this is good. You're going the right path here. Yeah, just keep absorbing the show. And clear out Bill's energy from your energy. I don't know how much you can tell me, but wondering what is my main goal and deciding to have incarnation. Oh, uh, well, yeah, discovering more about yourself while also bringing information here to this reality for others to learn. Uh, you're also doing self-forgiveness, of course. We're here to evolve and here to... T I feel like you have some spiritual teachings of your own. You'll figure that out when the time is right. Right now, just absorb all the knowledge you can. I feel like you'll be teaching others in some form or another. You'll figure something out when the time is right. I mean, I think this stuff interests you a lot, so... You gather information and then kind of interpret it the way you need to. And you can I believe you can share it with others when you feel the time is right. Oh my God, it's Moses. Does my higher self have a message for me? I uh, just keep protecting yourself. I feel like there's some people or energy trying to get into your mind. I uh, think a certain way. So just continue to map the path that you feel is best for you. Does my higher self have a prediction about my job situation in months? I think it'll be okay. In the month of May? That's too far in the future. Um, it's hard to say. I think it'll be fine, but it's too far in the future. Yeah, it's up and down. It's it's up in the air. Uh, sh shaman? Shaman? Uh, anything... About the Mahatman energy. I didn't pronounce that right. Uh, it does, uh, it combines with your chakras, like your root chakra. I feel like it does an energy cleansing. 
for your overall. It feels like it, do, it can do an overall cleansing for you. It feels like it goes right for the root chakra. It helps you release uh, shadow energies. Uh, anything from King Arthur? Thank you. Yeah, that's a very good connection. Well, actually, I feel like you fought King Arthur. I feel like you also won. We also taught him about spirituality. And not that you're trying to win or anything like that. Uh, you just, you know, not from an ego point of view. It was like, I feel like it just helps him develop spiritually. Interesting. I did see the Holy Grail. So I guess he was reinventing himself. So. Uh, Shuri. Uh, what kind of energies from past lives as, as different species are most strong? Uh, I feel a Syrian energy of uh, Sirius. I feel like actually a dolphin energy, which is good. Yeah, it just has a, it just have giving a frequency overall. It's a very uh, welcoming. Uh, it's probably more to it than that, but there's also a Garthian realms. I feel. Can you feel any messages from the guys or past loved ones that? Oh, just, uh, I feel like, I don't know if your mother is here. I feel like energy is from your mother. It's assisting you, helping you with your um, confidence levels. Uh, she says you're very inventive. So keep, yeah, keep following your uh, ambitions. I'm like, Gail, today I saw the number 444 and 333 multiple times. It just means that you're, like, you're, you have a challenge, but then you solve it. And you're on, you are definitely on the right timeline. There'll probably be a change in December. I say what change, but I won't worry too much. But I feel like some changes are coming. My wife and I both got COVID. Any messages? Yeah, it feels like an energy attack. From reptilians. Uh, so if you feel like you're off track, not that you're off track, but uh, now is the time to you know fulfill any unfulfilled wishes. You know, go for things that you feel like you need to do. Um, you know, what I don't know if you're just sitting around doing COVID, but just if you wanted to write that novel, now's the time to do it. Uh, David, first question. It was a young woman that I met who wanted to give me a hug at the hotel in Cedar Key, Florida. She seems very connected. Oh, she has a Pleiadian energy. Yeah, she's a healing star being. She just feels very drawn to you. She just didn't know why. She feels like you needed a hug. And she found you very interesting overall. Um, so... Yeah. Um, second question: What have my guides? What have my guides to say about this virus body? And been combating for the past few four weeks. Well, I think you have some idea. It's the information that you're getting. You're going deep. You're, yeah, you're going. You're look at you. You dive deep. So, and yeah, he sent me some emails and I did look at them. I don't know if I responded to any of them or, yeah, I appreciate what you sent me. It's quite, uh, quite the site there without going into too much details. I would share that reptilian video, but I don't know. Kind of saving some people from freaking out, <laughs> as you probably know. Yeah, I appreciate that, though. Uh, Chris, any messages about the year 2023? Uh, some better luck, but also your spirituality will start to open up even more. And yeah, just going to advance your spiritual belief systems and just be, actually become a spiritual teacher in your own form. You know, it's going to take some time. I feel like you're opening up that uh, reality. Any messages from the Zetas? Uh, you do connect to their. Uh, their chakras or crown chakras. I feel like you tell them. I wouldn't say tell them what to do, but you get them advice. But it feels like 
You're telling him to get away from your mother. I definitely see that. So, yeah, I mean, do you have some Zetas that are friends of yours? I think there's a Zeta that's somewhere that thinks he's a rapper. It's pretty funny, actually. Mm -hmm. He might not be the best rapper, but either way, he's trying to be a good rapper. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, Eric, any mess, any connection with the city of Valence? Uh, huh. I see Atlantis besides the name. Both bring arena type cities. Okay. Yeah, it's um yeah, the first one here, the Valent Val Valence. I'm not that familiar with that one, but yeah, I feel like you've been there for a short time. Atlantis, you've had multiple lifetimes times there. I feel like you're still there in apparel reality, actually. So I feel like you're actually having an architect. Question two, I saw a bat yesterday hanging, looking inside my window at me. Oh, gee, that's funny. That's different. They are the one of my favorite animals. Anyway, that's that's really neat. I mean, how many? What does that ever happen? Yeah, so it's good. Good luck. It's like a brother energy. Yeah, you're just showing obviously your collective. Uh, but he has really good intentions overall. He's like a little kitten. <laughs> he just wants to hang out with you. <laughs> Lucas, any messages regarding the spiders that are in my room? Uh, yeah, you're you're attracting them, so you can change that energy. That's entirely up to you. Any messages regarding my connection with water? Well, interesting. Your energy can blend in with water. Like I can see you put your hand in water, and your energy dissolves when you become water. So, yeah, it's just, it's a portal. So you allow that portal to work through you. Yeah, definitely recommend working with spiders, sure. Well, the spiders, you can tell them what to do. Yeah, you just, well, I wouldn't say you need to do that, but you have a kind connection with them, so. Love them for what they are. Uh, Vasco, any, any messages from Novak to me? Uh, yeah, he's like a twin brother. He feels like, uh, I do see him singing to you know, you guys sing church hymns. You might imagine reptilians singing church hymns. I think it did take you to a, a reptilian church, like you see, like the old South or uh, the Baptist church. People are singing, partying. I think about a bunch of reptilians doing that. Another reality, which is humorous. Uh, you know, it's also a parallel reality where George Washington is a reptilian being. You know, it doesn't mean his name's called George Washington, but I feel like you have a, you've been in that reality before. Question two, any messages from my higher self or guidance? Just a girlfriend, just, uh, I feel like, I mean, I feel like that connection will work. Yeah. I mean, if you have on, I mean, that's a relationship, right? On and off. One day you love each other, next day you want to kill each other. That's very normal. Um, but no, I feel like you're handling it very well. It's just, uh, the ups and downs of a relationship, so yeah. Uh, just what insight messages Archangel Michael have for me? Uh, just keep doing, yeah. You can revoke your employees or, yeah, sorry, your, your co workers' energies and just clear their energy, or, yeah. Just keep revoking their frequency so you can think more clearly and follow the path that's right for you. Uh, question two, my feeling the zeta energy around me. More than usual, especially yesterday. What message do you have? I feel like they're trying to help you. Um, they are concerned of your health. I mean, your health is, you know, it's fine. It's not nothing to worry about. But 
It feels like astrally. That's cool. That you're having that connection though. It feels like they're a good vibration overall. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna to talk to you, but just feel them around. Yeah, it's welcome to the life of having an open third eye. So you might not always be able to see them, but you can feel them. So it's good overall. And where you're living is kind of a government energy anyway. Margo, any messages uh, for me tonight? Uh, just enjoyment, have fun. Interesting, though, I feel like at a lot of time, I know it sounds way off, but designing furniture, like us, uh, 1800s, 1700s, I feel like you, you know, like had a parent that was connected to a furniture company. Like you grew up in a furniture uh, manufacturing uh, when you were growing up, like in the 1920s. That's the vibe I'm getting. I know it's came out of nowhere, but. Yeah. Uh, any messages? Uh, what am I up to an astral? Um, I just see like a dancer, a ballroom dancer. Realize there's a different version of you there. Um, yeah, you're very elegant, petite, and you you just I just see you dancing, like even like real like classical dancing. I don't know what that means, but you know, like kind of like a ballet, but not really a ballet. It's just I feel like you just. I don't know, just, uh, you have, like, kind of windy type of clothes, you know, that, like, wearing a big, you know, almost like a cape, not a cape, but, you know, wearing silver, wearing silver dress, and you're just, you're dancing on a stage, actually, for others. Oh, uh, you're clearing the vibrations. Say, hey, look, attract, hey, look, look at me, I'm a really attractive here, so you're bringing all these beings to you astrally, and you do a, an energy cleansing on them, so it's like a dance. You don't see that all, all, very often, or ever for that matter. All right, thank you for posting your questions, and we'll be back tomorrow. Blessings. <laughs>